Adrian Harding over the internet, YouTube, and Facebook. And she's here to give me a poverty tour of some of the people homes in Mississippi. We're standing in front of a home that has no water. Adrian, how long, and, and welcome, and thank you for doing this tour. Thank you. How long have this home been without water? This home has been without water since I've been living, um, since 1970. So um, I grew up here. I graduated from high school in 1988 and moved on and, and live out of state now. But all of my life, I've known this home to be here. It has never had running water. Look at this. There's tadpoles in the water here. I saw a little tadpole swimming around in there, and hopefully he'd come back. But, I mean, it's almost like a frog right now. He's not really like... Um, well, hopefully he just hid away, but, and she you, here, he, he's coming up now, she used this water for bathing? For bathing, and also for washing clothes. There's the frog. He's behind that little thing right there. Let's see what we can That's the frog. That's the frog. Mm -hmm. Wow. People could not believe this, and... What is the purpose of the trash here? Well, um, probably the trash is, you know, falling from something. Looks like a trash can is here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's probably was sitting up here somewhere. And some trash fell in and, and it, you know, no one ever picked it out. So, so she has to get this out before she's leaving. Before and this she her, can this is her steps here. Yes. Yeah. These, the these are the original steps of the house? These are the original steps of the house. I've known these steps to be here. Even when I was a child, six or seven years old, here playing. So this has always been this way. The house has always been had this lock on it. Look at this. This is old ancient history. Mm -hmm. This is old ancient history. Mm -hmm. People would not believe in America, but we're standing. We are standing in the United States, the state of Mississippi, and we're on a poverty tour with Adrian. She's just going to give us a, a tour of this home and just. Sometimes can run anywhere from three to four hundred dollars. And if they don't just have three hundred, four hundred dollars, they just don't have. They can right, or they can just get a half filled or a portion filled. Mm -hmm. But you know, they'll try to save up as much money as possible, especially when winter is coming. So this is what she used to cook with, so she yes, didn't have a stove. This is, yes, this is for cooking. Mm -hmm. And these are the back steps here. Oh. And this is the back door. And as you can see, there's a towel there to block cold air that comes in. Because there's really no insulation to this house, as you can see. There's just wood, mm -hmm. some felt paper, and you know, they were trying to do some type of siding. And this siding is very old. I know it's at least 40 years old. That before siding is old. Before the siding, you just had the natural wood. Before the siding, you had the natural wood, and then they would put the felt there mm -hmm. and then put the siding and as you can tell if you, you look around you've never seen any houses with this type of siding this siding is over 40 years old so this is all this is how she's in the place yes mm -hmm. and adrian you were saying that this is the, the outhouse and the shell down Yes, this outhouse fell down maybe about a year ago. And um, this is what was used because this house does not have a bathroom at all. It has never had a bathroom. So she just stopped using this outhouse a year ago? Yes. Look at the back of the home. So she has busted windows in here. Yes. And when you have little resources, you just make do with what you have. So there's blankets and sheets and everything stuffed in the window to lock the air out. But as you can see, there's still air that can get in here because you have a hole just right here going straight into the hole. And there's so a curtain right there. This is some more water here. Mm -hmm. Again, this is, you know, some rain water to catch to wash clothes and to, you know, bathe, to 
basically wash up food. So she just boiled the water. Mm -hmm. Look at this. So she has wooden. So I'm sure it's not functional. Let's look at this window here. So, Adrian, do you remember when the house was down to the wood like this? Well, this is almost like you can see through the tree. Yes, I said that's, you can see through the house. This is, this oh is the way goodness. they originally built the house. And this is what I was saying. You build the house, you put the wood there, then you put the belt because this would block the air. And then you would put the siding. So all of the siding over the last 30 to 40 years has fallen. And so as rain comes, storms come, everything deteriorates. So all of this is just outside air going into the home. So all of this is her little cage. Um, I don't know. I'm sure she probably doesn't use it. Mm -hmm. And this was her old washing machine. Mm -hmm. This is in America. This is not in Africa. This is not in Haiti or any third world country. This home is in America. And to this day, this lady still do not have water in her home. And I can imagine how cold it would be in the inside because it's a very old house, you know, very old home. Mm -hmm. um, and there's other people that live in almost similar conditions? Yes, similar and to some degree worse. So she do have an updated window right here. Yes. I would like to see this lady have, get a bathroom in a home, you know, not to be able to go outside and, you know, get water, but to just go in the restroom and turn on a faucet and a vanity and have water or mm -hmm. a shower. Mm -hmm. That probably would be a miracle for her. Yeah, it would be. I'm sure it would. But she just won't ask. No. Mm -hmm. And this has been in this condition and similar for at least 40 years.